Hello everyone and welcome to my badge crafting tutorial. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while and uh, I hope that you can f you'll find this uh, useful. Um, what I'm going to be doing is explaining how to use this badge crafting chart to uh, move around and craft badges that you want. Uh, it may look a bit daunting, uh, hopefully I can break it down into uh, easy steps so you'll get the idea. Um, and be able to make the most out of your precious components um, that you get in the game. So what I'm going to start with is um, going over the helpful information that's on this chart, um, which explains some of the terminology I'll be using in the video. So what we'll be starting with is the badge slots. Uh, they come in six numbers, one to six. And um, the main thing to know about them is the chart uses odds and evens. So 1, 3, and 5, 2, 4, and 6. The next thing um, you want to be aware of is the bonus conditions. So bonus conditions are the green um, green conditions that come up on, uh, on a badge, <coughs> such as um, a hero has to be used with a hero or with lucky, that sort of thing. Um, so, you've got them all up here for easy reference, and they've been they're grouped into sets, which they will always be one of one of. So it'll either be a hero condition, or if it's it'll either be a shooter, bruiser, or scout, uh, hunter, warrior, assault, and then you've got the coloured ones of dodge, retaliate, and bullet dodge, iron skin, power strike, or ruthless, lucky marksman or sure shot, strong, vigilant, or defensive stance. So when you get to a certain spot on the chart, you know basically one of three is going to be. Um, I'll go into them in more detail as uh, as we start crafting. Um, next thing we need to look at is the actual recipes which are used to move around the chart and to create the badges you want. So they're all, uh, the recipes are letters. Um, so you can see here A A A A A A A B. These are called step recipes. Um, the letters refer to the component in question. So A is metal, B is edible, C is chemical, and D is cloth. So the step recipes uh, move you on down one on the step uh, column, uh, which you can see up here. Step and this little arrow. Um, Sometimes it doesn't go down, it will jump along, but we'll get into that in a bit. Um, you've also got jump recipes. Uh, there's only four of these. Um, and those ones are used to move to the location in the jump column. Um, so AO1 jumps to CO2. Again, don't worry too much about what that means. I'll go into it in more detail. But just want you to get an idea of when I say jump, this is what I'm talking about. And this is the recipe I'll be using. And then you've got the type recipes. So these are the ones that are shown in game, um, which will, which you can use to get a certain effect on the badge, either damage, critical damage, damage reduction, health, or critical chance. Um, note that only uh, all, using all legendary components and a legendary fragment. When I say components, I do include the fragment. Um, that will, um, that's the only way to guarantee you get the effect you want using lower rarity, so epic, green, common, uncommon. Um, they have a chance to fail uh, at getting you what you want. So if you did a, a common it damage badge using a metal, uh, edible, cloth, chemical, um, they you've got a small chance of getting damage and a high chance of um, getting a random or a different effect. Um, the reason I say this is when you are wanting a certain badge uh, and you're in a good spot on the, uh, on the chart, you will want to use all legendary to make sure you do get that badge you want. Um, the other reason I said about using common ones, um, because if you do fail, again, it's another way to move around the chart. 
using the type fail column here. So A1 uh, would jump you to A19. Again, I'll explain more about that in a minute. Well, that's pretty much all the terminology you need. Um, you've also on here got what the uh, game calls each shape, A, B, C, D, E. And you've also got a handy guide to know if you've got uh, a good badge or not um, by having a look at the uh, top right. It will show you what the highest and lowest range for each badge is. So that's the helpful information around the outside of it, uh, which is often useful to uh, to uh, refer to. I still refer to it quite often when I'm, I'm crafting. Um, I will put a link to this chart on the in the description uh, so you can have a look at it at your leisure um, I print one off because I find it a lot easier to use um, when it's printed uh, just zoom out again so you can see the whole thing um, <clears throat> the reason you want to use this chart is because components are very rare and when you get use all five of your legendary components you want it to one be the badge you want but more importantly you want it to have a bonus condition which is useful nothing worse than using all your legendary badges to get a to go for a damage reduction and you get it with sure shot or a bullet dodge a trait that very few people have uh, feels like a, a bit of a waste um and um, this can help you with that because you can choose what bonuses or give you a better chance of the bonus that you want. So the main ones people go for uh, when the main one people go for when using the chart is um, dodge, retaliate, and bullet dodge when they're crafting. Tank badges such as health and damage reduction because most tanks have dodge and retaliate. And when you're going for damage and critical damage uh, for your scouts, for instance, um, you're looking to go on the IPR, the Iron Skin, Power Strike, or Roofless spots because uh, most uh, scouts will have Power Strike or Roofless. Um, shooters, hunters, and they, they have lucky. Um, and they quite often have marksmen, so you might want to do someone lucky marksman or sure shot. The ones that aren't used as much um, are the hero teammate bonus, because it could be one of hundreds, not hundreds, but you know what I mean. Um, and then the trait condition doesn't come up every time, whereas with a, a trait, you know it's going to be active when you need it to be. On to actually using the chart. There's a lot of information here, um, but the first thing we want to do is find out where we are on the chart. So each position has been given a num a letter and a number. So you've got A01 down to A33, BA1 and uh, C's, D's and E's. Um, every, every letter, column, will eventually get back to A. If you step enough times, you will end up back on A. Um, so if you ever get lost, or you're not sure where you are, you can, you can pretty much, with five or six crafts, get back to A and find yourself again. Couple of things to remember. Um, when you are using a chart, always use the same rarity components and fragment um, so always use all common don't don't mix them don't use two blue one green and two legendary um, it will jump you in the chart somewhere and it's less likely to give you a, a bad rarity that that you want um, and the second thing is um, when they introduced being able to re-roll badges when you re-roll a badge uh, it will jump you elsewhere in the chart as well so if you are planning wanting to re-roll a badge when you're crafting make a note of it finish your crafting using the chart and then do your re-rolls afterwards does mean next time that you'll probably have to spend a few components finding back where you were 
but normally always do that anyway because no one ever remembers. So um, that's a few hints and tips. Um, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to do some examples of what I'm talking about. So first thing I'm going to do is find out where I am on the list. And to do that, I'm going to craft five badges using the step recipe.